The fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. <laughs> you never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. Little help here, Lee? Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. What the? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the fence on that gate, it's our only way out! Where's our food, you asshole? Stop Lee, shooting! Get back you here! Asshole. You didn't deliver Lee, hurry the up. good! Now we're gonna take what's owed! Behind the fire! You asshole deserve to die! Can't lure me to you! What about all arrangements? Come on, if we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. You, ah, you, 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 you really think you can fuck with us? Over there! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! What happened? Oh, shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to leave. Ah, Another one? How many of those things did we push down? I already got one of you. Don't think I can get out here. Holy shit, are, are you okay? Fucking bandits. They have no right being out here. Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, 
Oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were going to give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope you kids like swings. A swing? I love swings. Just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. That thing keeps a fence electrified. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. If a couple of tools out in the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor end. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. How do you put up with him? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. 
So yeah, he's probably going to keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? You're a good leader, Lily. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. Hey. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Lots of hay. Hmm. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for marrows, if that becomes a problem. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I'm not sure, Clem. I hope so. I hope so, too. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? He got lucky out there. It would have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me, too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem, that's enough for now. Okay, thanks for pushing me. Of course, it's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. Hey. Haley, 
Found anything interesting? I'm just trying to make sure this place is secure. In case we decide to make this a more long-term solution. Except for those people in the woods. Seems pretty safe. Good to know. Keep your ears open for anything else that might help us. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. That's funny, considering you didn't seem too worried about Duck back at Herschel's farm. That's in the past, Kenny. But lots happened since then. Yeah, right. I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here? I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch them go hungry. You're with me on this, right? You're not making me pick sides, Kenny. Well, you better think about it, because that time is coming. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. They look happy. I've got some things to take care of. I'll be back in a bit. Okay. Fellas? How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Here. Oh shit, you found it? You see anybody? Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent.
This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Yuck. I don't need that. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Nothing but fumes. Shit. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <sighs> I'll pass. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Just water. <laughs> 